I am an athlete. Oh, no, 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 no. Seriously, seriously. I am an athlete. What is an athlete, you ask? And what do you often picture when you think of an athlete? Are they muscular? Are they fast? Are they lean? Are they nimble? Is that really all an athlete is and can be, though? I think not. Now, have you ever considered another side of athletics for those who, let's say, are differently abled? What does it exactly mean to be an athlete? First, let's stop and consider the impact athletes have on today's society. Athletics can provide social benefits, the opportunity to learn to work together through trial and error, and the opportunity to learn how to work together as one cohesive unit. We can learn focus, we can learn perseverance, we can learn societal interactions. In fact, there are a plethora of different athletes across the globe who all participate in athletics for a various number of reasons. Millions of them! Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Taylor Duncan, and I'm 23 years of age from Dallas, Georgia. At the age of four, I was diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. As a result, I faced speech issues, sensory issues, anxiety issues, and on top of all of that, as I got older, I faced a lot of preconceived ideas, perceptions from other peers and those who thought they knew what somebody with a difference can and cannot accomplish. And that often precluded me from playing typical youth sports when I was much younger. I had one great year of youth baseball. Coach took me under his wing taught me all the basics, and it made me much more of a confident person to be able to take into the outside world. But the next year, a new coach came aboard, very obsessed with winning. After the first practice, he looked at me square in the eyes and told my mother I didn't have what it took, that I had no business being on a baseball diamond, that I was too much of an injury risk because he didn't think one with autism can accomplish. But thanks to my mother, my teachers, mentors, and coaches who have helped me get to where I am today, I'm here today on the TEDx stage with the goal. Thank you, I love that. I am here today with the goal to inspire, to raise awareness, and acceptance for autism and other special needs through America's pastime of baseball. Today, I am proud founder, commissioner, CEO of Alternative Baseball, a national baseball program for teens and adults 15 and over with autism and other special needs. We started the program here in the metro Atlanta area with six or seven people. As time went on, our numbers grew. And eventually we had enough to start our second team. The two teams would play against each other for a year and a half until we had those come to us about bringing the opportunity to their community where there's never been an opportunity brought there before to their neighborhoods and townships. And today we are expanding across the United States and we're gonna go global. Sports, generally speaking, are a fun tool in learning how to deal with life's experiences in the outside world. My, favorite, my personal favorite part about America's pastime is where the result of every game are seldomly ever the same. Every game, like every day in our real lives, are different. Sometimes it's going to be bright and sunny outside, and then other days it's going to be pouring down cats and dogs. Some days we're gonna have ups, other times we're gonna have downs. Sometimes we're gonna win and sometimes we're gonna lose. Sometimes we make the greatest of plays and the other days, well, pfft, might as well forget about it. You're making the most embarrassing mistakes. But we go through hot streaks and cold streaks, just like we do in our real lives. In alternative baseball, players participate within the same rule structure as typical peers playing the same major league baseball rules from front to back of the rule book. By placing our players in similar situations and providing them with the same opportunities, it's proven to open the eyes of many people who may have never considered the higher functional end of the autism spectrum before. In fact, many disabled sports programs in the past 
have tended to be highly adaptive with many major rule changes, which may not give the same representation of that sport. But that's all people have ever known because there's never been a program like alternative baseball with its high focus and emphasis on the authenticity and the learning environment for our players to take the, the social skills and the physical skills with them for both on and off the diamond. The option for everyone to experience opportunity is very important because number one, experience gains confidence. It teaches us perseverance. It teaches us never to give up teaches us to learn how to work together as a team in various situations. And last but not least, it teaches us how to work together and learn from these hard times when they come. The chances to learn and grow through general participation in sports can have that positive effect in translating the knowledge and lessons learned into our various other hobbies and even employment as one gets older, more mature, and ready to take that and ready to take that private sector by storm. There are people like myself, we want to make the most out of our own lives. We want to be taught so we can do things to the best of our own ability. We don't want to accept government welfare as a daily part of our lives. We want to become positive, powerful, productive members of society. And in fact, different mediums can provide those opportunities for those with the passions and the skill sets to show what they can do, what they can accomplish. Whether it's through our athletics, whether it's through our dating or relationships and anything in our personal life, whether it's through our education, we want to be taught so we can do things to the best of our natural ability, to the maximum of our potential. We want to break that barrier and many of us strive every single day to power through those pre-existing perceptions. If you have the chance to hire someone with autism, or if you have the chance to coach an athlete on the autism spectrum, look, I'm not gonna lie to you. It may take a transition or an adjustment for some at first, but you know what? That's entirely okay. And when you encourage them to be the best they can be, when you, when you accept them for who they are, and when you support them 100%, much can become accomplished for everyone by lifting the perception by breaking the barrier and by providing an opportunity where there's never been an opportunity before, you are not only redefining what it means to be an athlete for tomorrow, you are redefining what it means to become a powerful, productive member of society. All it takes for us is one chance, one opportunity. So what are you waiting for? <laughs> <laughs>